Alrighty, that should be good. And hey you guys, hey Tanny. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. First off, I'm gonna start with a little announcement that I should have made when I started doing, um, when I did Dead Rising. I'm not going to be uploading Let's Plays onto YouTube. I'm going to be focusing more on streaming. So, like now, uh, my schedule will be two hours um, Wednesday through, no, not Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, well, yeah, except for this one, this might go a little too, a little longer. Um, I do also want to aim for longer streams on Sunday and Mondays, because I have Mondays and Tuesdays off. So, like I said, uh, for those of you wondering where Spyro 2 is, well, the rest of Spyro 2 is, this is going to be it. I'm going to stream the rest of it. So, from those of you who've watched the LP, know that I've finished up getting the stuff for uh, stuff outside of the stages in Winter Tundra. But today, we're actually going to go do the stages. Now, another thing I do want to announce is... Ah, crap, I actually forgot that one. Now, let's go to Kirby shooting the gun and... Yep, the game screen. going to mute the music I have right now. And so, here we go. Gonna finish up Spyro 2. Now, those of you who watched me stream before, I have finished this on stream. But... I did not record it. Yeah. It was not recorded, because I didn't know that you had an option to do that. So, here we are. Doing it again. Now, yeah, I, the reason why I want to get this done right now is the next game I want to do since October, I do want to focus on to Dead Rising, which I probably might do. T I've been good, Tanny. How are you? <laughs> I know it's been a, been a while since I did stream, but yeah. So we're gonna be going to the seventy-seven percent file. Because the 83 is after this section. Ignore Laura. And so our first target is over here Mystic Marsh, or as it was originally called, Mystic Savannah. By the way, I have two drinks on my feet water and a Sunny D. Ah, that's good. Anyway, I have a Sunny D Green Apple Slam Sunny D Burst. I've never had this, so I am don't know what to expect. Yep, as we see in this world, the issue is their fountain shut down, and now the animals are going crazy. So here we have these monkeys that spit, throw things at rocks at you. Now, also, another thing I want to mention... We are now going straight for orbs. Oh, gosh, I like Sunny D. We have all 14 talismans in the game, so every stage, stage, the main story goal, will give us orbs. Because we need 40 orbs to open the door to Ripto, which we already do have. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Oh yeah, so we need to find out what caused the fountain to shut down. Now, quick little note in here. This also has another Easter egg. As you can see, these coins have a face on them. This is Dan Johnson. 
This is the game that started the Dan Johnson joke in Insomniac games, mostly known in the Ratchet and Clank games. Dan Johnson was a programmer for for, for Insomniac for few, for a couple years. Sadly, he has passed away now, so rest his soul. But they continue to honor his spirit by incorporating him into every one bit of their game. One of the more the more famous one that people would know though is the making a snow dance skill point in Ratchet and Clank, in which you destroy a snowman that is made similar to Dan. With a goatee and everything. Fuck you, elephant. Uh, uh, so, so over there is death. This is the only, really the only deathly area in this. But yeah, <sighs> get another elephant. I, 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 the elephants are really annoying in the stage. Now I'm down to no sparks. So, back to going to get him. We're still going to mostly aim for the story mission first. First for these for these stages, by the way. Yeah, we even though the rhinos are small enough, we can't flame them because of their metal shields. So, don't so there's your question if you're curious as to why. Alright, so there, yeah, so let's get this frog. Alright, oh, let's kill this guy and get these gems. And there are all the elephants for the stage. I believe it's all the monkeys right now, too. Yeah, I will still be uploading onto YouTube. They just will, um. They'll just be, um, the. The the um vods or streams. Sorry, got a little tongue tied a little bit. Also, these platypus that turn into puffer fish for some reason. It's really weird. Hey, we have enough time, enough sparks for the gate. So we're not going to use the gates because the gates are rel relatively useless in this area. And we'll, well, except for, for doing a specific mission in this stage. But we're not doing that right now. Alrighty, so. So now I'm gonna glide over here. So yeah, I've started playing. I apologize for the um, long break. I've been, got, kept getting distracted. Also, work. And do shreds like that right now. I have been playing a numerous games. A few of them I do want to actually do stream in the future. And back down we go, cause I took. Yeah. yeah. Um. I have. I do have myself a Wii U, so. Hey, look, I have a old tired out console. Laugh at me. Eh, I don't care. I like the Wii U. It's a really good console. Uh, I have, so far, I have the, the remakes of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. And they also have Tokyo Mirage Sessions, hashtag FE, the Shimigami Tensei Fire Emblem game. Or, as it should be correctly called, Persona Fire Emblem. Because basically it's literally Persona, but turn the personas into Fire Emblem characters. For example, the main hero, his persona is Krom from Awakening. Now, oddly, the girl's choice for, per for ally is. Oh, good. Is Kadea from from Shadow Dragon slash the first one? All right, so we're gonna take this one to go up to here, and we're gonna talk to this guy. After killing this monkey, 
Alright, some gems. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Cause honestly, I do think it should have been Marth. All right, so now we're gonna talk to this guy. Bug? Oh, hmm. I must have dozed off there. Gully, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and um, don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? And so, our issue was caused by laziness. Alrighty, so, swing up here and talk to this human. Yes, this is a human. First, we're gonna collect these gems. In my life, and now talk to him. Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. This is, they say it's four star, but this is really easy. Sorry about that. So basically, we need to chase down the four foxes that stole this, sort of stole the spark plugs, and yeah. I said not that hard a mission. So I have no idea why it's four star. Of course it could be referencing team four star. Hey hey hey. No, I'm kidding, those guys are great. If you don't watch them, you should. Cause they they're more famous for uh, for our Dragon Ball Z a bridge. To be honest. But they also uh, bridge Helsing, and they also bridge Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you like those two animes, hey, there you go. Anyway, the thieves are mostly scattered around this stage. Right down here is this first one. They're really easy to get. There you go. Sadly, you cannot skip those. You have to watch that every time, which kind of irritates the crap. All right, so now there's one up in here that we can get. It's kind of why I didn't get those gems. I think he yeah he went up to that tree. Yeah, it's basically mostly a chase them down and flame them. It's not really that hard a mission, but it can be pretty tedious if you like me stray off the path. And mess up things. Yeah, I've also um, started playing Prototype, which is a infamous clone if you've played that series. It's an okay one. I kind of more prefer, I kind of don't, I'm not sure which one I prefer more to be honest, because both of them are just have their ups and downs. Because like Infamous had, because like Prototype has a cooler, um, energy recharge system while infamous does have have ranged attacks at the beat right off the back um prototype gets you gliding a lot easier at least in, at least from the first one because that's the only one i got, actually got gliding in to be honest um 
Melee gener melee combat and prototype is honestly way better. Cause like, yeah, yeah. And some of these guys will go into the swimming holes so they can swim. Because of course, never heard of a fox swimming. Well, wow, relax. Well, not doggy paddling. They can do that. Cause they're I believe they're kind of canine-y. But I mean actually doing swimming. But then again, I'm controlling a dragon who, who learns to swim too. So, I shouldn't talk. I was just wanting to start up um, Dagon Rompa. Because I have the PS4 remake because due to peer pressure, honestly. But sadly, got a little bit too busy today, so maybe tomorrow I'll be able to start it. So this should be the last few gems. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, this guy kind of goes a really annoying route if you. Ah, uh, crap, I hope we didn't get him, get behind him. Okay, good. We're still, we're still behind him. And I lost this guy. God damn it. Yeah, it's kind of really easy to lose these guys, to be honest. It's weird considering, yeah, and so now he's right back at the beginning. Oh, he went to, he went this way. Oh. Well, I'm, well, fuck. I also. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say this, but I've also have played um, Devil Team well, Ninja May Cry. So, Here, yeah, friend, do it that way you will. Quality, but you it. It's not bad. I do still do have some gripes with it, like Dante's appearance. Oh, I do like what he says, though. I just need to figure out how to collect the ivory from those beasties before they disappear. They're already dead. And the beasties she was talking about were the um, rhinos and the and the elephants. So anyway, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go onto this bridge, go out across here where we saw those gems and. We'll meet up with Tom Kenny again. Ah, Spyro! So glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. This one's not a. This one's less. This one's kind of more tedious than the last one. But it's also way easier. It's also spoofing the Zelda Fresh quests. So, we need to take the egg to here. We can just shoot up Bob and it'll land. Mama Bird will drop a seed, which we take to that pot of plant we saw a little bit ago over here. Which will expel a plant, which spits out a rubber ducky. Which now we need to take to that mama duck we saw over at the other side of this. Yeah, so well, October is pretty big for gaming right now. Now it's kind of like yeah. There's the rubber ducky. Duck mama duck will spout a turnip. That is a turnip, which is also disgusting. Anyway, I um, mean, yeah, it's like we got Fire Emblem Warriors coming out for both the 3DS and the Switch. I have my Switch version pre-ordered and ready. 
We have Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, which is a remake of the original Superstar Saga, which is a good game. And honestly, the updated graphics just look make it look awesome. Um, Mario Odyssey, which is the big one everyone says. Now we have a coin. So you're gonna take to the fountain, get it, wishing coin, wishing fountain. Yeah, yeah, we just landed in it. We landed in the thing. Anyway, grab the pencil. And we are now done with this world. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. Alora says she thinks I'm going to lose it. Oh, Tom. And so, that is the first Winter Tundra World down. Yep, only two items. So now, exit level. Now I'm gonna take start try the try the slammer. It's okay. You kind of taste the orange overpowering the um, the apple, though. But it's not that bad. Anyway, so our next target is in this little cavern where we meet up with. Up, oh, oh! I didn't go in here. Oh. Where we meet up with Tom again for another portal, which. It's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to cloud temples. Yep, we need a certain number of orbs. No. I don't know with how many we need, to be honest. So, now we go to cloud temple, which is a stage we are not going to be completing in the first visit. We can get all the orbs in this stage. We can't get all the gems, because if you watch the LP... I when I when we did um Sunny Oasis we were introduced to a to a box called to a um head bash box which we need so there's one of these in here and it's in this part in that we need to go that we can only go through for an orb so might as well just ignore that or I mean I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians until that big warlock over there stole my wand, he and his friends have used the magic to take over the city. One thing I do want to mention, you can tell these two worlds are connected because the same voice actor voices the wizards and the um, guys from the last stage. And he looks similar too. Alrighty, so I think he repeats his say. You don't actually expect me to fight him, do you? You're the big tough dragon, right? Fuck you. So anyways, these guys will kind of sh will shoot energy balls at you, just flame them, and they're done. Yeah, I mean. Also, we all. Mm. Sorry about that. Also, coming out this month, we also have finally South Park Fractured Butthole. Which, after Dead Rising, I will be doing both Stick of Truth and Fractured Butthole. Now, these guys drop um, rocks. Their main attack is shooting rocks at you, so that's why they drop rocks. Another, uh, forgot to mention thing. 
Okay, so for my streaming, I will not be doing Dead Rising right now to each other. I'm actually going to be going back and forth between Dead Rising and an and RPG. Well, in this case, two of them. I'm going to be going through Mass Effect and and Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X will begin tomorrow. But but on um, Wednesday will begin Mass Effect. Hopefully for that I might have some cocoms. For for the stream that is, yeah. And yes, I'm gonna be starting from one. Even though it sucks. Compared to the, the other two there's. So here we have another I don't know if the if the goat actually blocked the shot. That would be funny if my thought flame actually did that itself. Screw you, goat. Alright, so we're gonna get a new life. And here we have more more spear goats. Screw you. You also have sheep petrified too. I have no idea why they're petrified or who petrified them. Anyway, gonna glide across here. Take out these goats and this wizard. So blast open that door. Kill the rainy goat. Like this stuff. Now that path leads to the um stuff we can get uh, leads to the other gem, but it's the one that leads to the head bash thing. So we're not so you can see there's a um locked chest there. We're gonna get the rocket for that in a little bit, and we'll only really be grabbing that. Could be because it's kind of a spot where. Where it's also a why do you why would you need to come back here if you're already here first time? So yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna Ah, I took a hit. Son of a bitch. Now we have one more to kill. Okay, it was the goat. And that guy does nothing, but give us the last orb. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please, take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. So there's the first the three orbs for this world, but we're not, yeah, gonna ignore here. Let's we grab these, these two. So for the order, so for the second orb and for the our mystical rocket, we have, have been this. Overrun by trolls. And the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. Our mystical bell towers a bit. This is the only time this power is used in this game. Alright, so we need to freeze these boogers. So then we actually need to time the freezing so that um they're frozen at the right spot. So I think that guy might be 
We have to wait to thaw till they thaw though. If they not. Now think Yep, yeah, alright, cool. Now ring this. Unthaw this guy because we because Hilly's gonna run over to here. I think I might, uh, damn you. There we go. Oh. Damn you. There we go. There we go. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. I really don't get why they did that. It's like, mm. alrighty, so we're gonna freeze these two, and then we're gonna freeze these two, and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a souvenir from the Mystic City gift shop. <laughs> now I'm starting to taste the apple that. By the way, Mystic City is the original name for this level. Yeah, so there's the ore for that. Now, we're gonna go back up here. The reason for that is the rocket is right up here. We need to freeze the... the troll that is running around. So the freeze power should be going down. Thinking there we go. All right. So there's that. Break the rest of these containers. And now we're gonna go down and grab the the gems that spilled out from that chest. these two and now we're done for here for right now mm -hmm. so That goat's gonna be disappointed when he finds uh, finds twig berries in there. All right, so now we're gonna be going back to money bags. Who's stationed right out here? Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And like all the best things, it doesn't come cheap. You know, Thousand isn't really that bad, honestly, considering, you, considering we've been 100%ing the stages by this and we have 5,400. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle button. You'll find the head bash may help you out on some tasks that were impossible before. Remember, just jump, then try it. Good luck. Alrighty, so now we can go back to Autumn Plains in 100% Fracture Hills and Shady Oasis. So we're going to go back and do that right now. 
I'm not looking forward to the to two missions for this little backtracking scenario. The first being the one we're gonna do right now. The second is the mission we're gonna do in in Mystic Temple. If you played this game, you know which two I'm talking about. So, our first visit will be back to Fracture Hill so we can get these two. If you recall, I did not get, only got one of the three orbs because the other two are part of a series. The first one was fine, we could have done without head bash, but the second one we needed head bash, and because it was part of a series, we actually could not do it. We actually would have, would would be going back to do the second one. Take some hits here, but hopefully. All right, one hit, two hits. I'm gonna say one, but no, it was two. All right, so we're gonna take this pig. So our goal for right now is the this blue area. So over here, we encounter Hunter. Yep. Here's these gems. Let's talk to him first. Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. He owes me a favor. This isn't the mission. We actually could just talk to Hunter. Just okay, it's what he says. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, now it's time for the evil of the two missions. But first, we're going to collect the rest of these gems. There's five. There's a, there are a lot of earth shapers here. About to show off the head bash. For some reason there's nothing up there. Not sure why. Yeah, awful lot of head bashers that we could not, cannot kill. Wonder what that means. There are all 400 gems here. So let's go talk to him. Game will control us as we go around to their side. I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the earth shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Yes! An escort mission! Gray? This is one of the most annoying ones, especially considering we could just turn and only have to deal with one, but no! We almost have to deal with all these guys. Yeah, he'll, he'll psych you out. He will psych you the fuck out. This is why I don't like this mission. We want to wait till he did start. Thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of focusing on this. And he'll turn tail and go this way. We actually did this the first time. Oh my god. After this, for me, I think that was the first time I ever did that mission. First try. All right. As Next well, one's a little. This one's a little more fun, but still kind of hard. This is what we need the head bash for, right. by the way. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow. You head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then... Yeah, so this one kind of earns its four. So basically, this is how it goes. Hunter will shoot an arrow, and we need to head bash the Earth Shipper. We need to follow Hunter.
Crap. Yeah, he'll get faster the more the more time we do. So we need to actually charge a lot. I think next, up, oh, yep, yeah, next was this guy. Damn it! Yeah, that one is kind of really annoying because it's like you can't really see that it's one fall. So it's like that one's kind of, yeah. That, it, it's, this one's still tedious, but it's not a huge headache. Unlike the, um, unlike when you had to escort him. It's not, it's not that much of a headache. I'm gonna just charge over to here. That thing was, we were almost done too. We make a great team. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed. Oh, that. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed of him at the moment. Yeah, I would too. Use one of your arrows on him too, Hunter. Surely, Fractured Hills is 100% completed. So now, we're going to go over to... Yeah, so now we're going to be going over to... To, to Sunny Oasis. That's a fracture measure time. Alright, so we need to be going all through the stage again. So this one's kind of tedious to get to. We also need to be killing enemies because we need the we need the spot the spirits. This, yeah, the mission here is not as, it's not as hard as the last one, two. It's actually pretty easy. Especially if you're fast enough. Damn it. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet right now, just kind of needing to focus. I will be quiet for one last mission too, cause it, well, not the mission here, but the mission that in Cloud Temple. Cause that one's incredibly fucking evil. Yeah, we don't need to go through all the stage, we need to mostly get through a lot of the stage, so... So now, we can ditch the path, and go back to this area. But first, we'll smash this, to get gems. And there's two of those two gems over there. Up. It's great. Up, uh, yeah, we need to get the... Power up working. I forgot how many we needed. Yeah, so back to the stage we go. I'm not. 
I get why they do that, but it's like, honestly, I do think that, that if it's gonna be off the beaten path, they could have done, done enough enemies to actually do it on the path. I think it was, yeah, I think it was 18 that we needed. Yeah, it was 18 we needed. Alright, so first we're gonna get the last two gems. Huh, suspicious hole. So there's all 400 gems. Talk to this guy again. My eight brothers have been trapped in the rock, and will sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle, and follow my lead. Follow me, and remember, jump and then... Alrighty, so... This one's kind of not really that hard, honestly. This needs to be really fast. But it's like... It's not that hard. Considering it's like, look, the fact that I've just finished right now. <laughs> Talking about how not hard it is. All of them. So there, so now we've 100%ed every world in on planes. Alrighty, so now we're going to finish up Cloud Temple. And we're also going to do the Speedway. We're also going to get gems here. So might as well just break these rocks. This rock for one gem. Break this rock. I mean, oh, I'm not a gem. Alrighty, so we don't need, we can ignore the enemies except for the warlocks. So now we're gonna go get the middle gem. Now this is another evil mission. Luckily for us, this is the last evil mission of the game. There's one that's kind of really annoying, but it's like it's not that super, not as bad as these two, honestly. Pop you. Yeah, we're gonna ignore the enemies. Now, except for the warlocks, we kind of have to go down. And you go, save this again. I really wish you could skip these. Alright, so now, we're gonna glide this way. Ignore this. Fuck you. Alright, so we're gonna collect the gems here. And now, are we ready for the most evil? Well, I'm gonna collect these gems up here too. Oh, one up butterfly. Actually, I should get that. Yeah. I was kind of weird when they put gems on like that. All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> and the other terrible mechanic, if it's... Yeah, and the other terrible mechanic, 
sneak stealth missions. This is really annoying. Now, milk your solid. It's it's fine. That's because it was built around. Damn it. Yeah, but Metal Gear Solid is fine because it was built around this mechan around stealth. There's another game on PS1 that's also stealth based. Sheep Raider. It's a Looney Tunes game based off the Sam Sheepdog and Ralph Wolf cartoons. Actually, it's actually pretty good, to be honest. We're ignoring these gems because we can come back after it later and get them. Just so you, yeah. Let's see if that door shuts. We'll fail. Alright. Damn it. Didn't hide behind enough. Thought I did, but nope, didn't. A I hate this one more than the escort, because at least you can work off your anger on that by, by, um, by, um, just charging the earth shapers. It won't do anything, but it's like, at least you could just, just go fuck you as you do it. This one, you don't really have anything you can go, oh, I'm going to work my anger out on this. Alright. This is the stupidest part. We need, okay, yeah. We need to time ourselves to pass him and make it to that other tree. We go too early, he'll catch us as we charge. We go too late, he'll catch us as we're going behind the tree. That is fucking evil. And that spot is why I hate this mission. You need to time that down. I do not like timing time that like that. I do not like timing. Okay, can I go and go won't get caught now? Damn it! I better not. It's really annoying. I think you might see me actually. Okay, good. I'm going to help move. They do not have any of these two in Spyro 3, thank God. But there is an evil mission in that one. And when I do Spyro 3, I will be pointing that out. In fact, I'm in fact, depending on how many times I fail that one, I might actually do it. Well, there are two, but the other one you can very easily cheese. Damn it! This time I better. And for those of you going, why can't you just hide behind that the uh, the tree next to him? She goes past the tree. It's like how he is for that one, for that tree. That's basically his distance from that tree to him, so. Yeah. We also cannot flame or charge him because that would get us spotted. So yeah, I'm gonna shut for t to focus. Damn it, ugh. This, this is kind of why I say hopefully we'll finish Spyro 2, because I have no idea how long this will take. Because of how fucking bad this mission is. I mean, the beginning part is fine. It's when you get to that section. That makes you want to punch your puppy, for lack of a better term. 
and people who play this game know why, know how I feel. So I'm not exaggerating. This mission is evil. Now back to shutting up to, to focus. And we're done. Ah, oh, shit, shit. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I'm not. Moth we fucking finish and I die. This is why I hate this mission. And it makes me want to punch a puppy. I've never died. I that is the first time I actually have fucking died doing during doing this mission. And cue the snake, snake, snake jokes. I will give an internet cookie to the first person who does that though. Crap. Damn it! I ran right for the right into the tree. If that did not happen, I would have been able to make it. Uh. Just seriously hate this mission. Uh. And we're gonna get more bitching, more complaining about me for um, the two, for the evil mission in three. There are two of those also, but it's like the first one you can easily fucking cheat. Damn it! You can easily fucking cheese. Not, but it's not the first one. Is that one's the second one? And I will be cheesing that one because that one's really fucking hard when you um, if you aren't cheesing it. So, I will, so when I do that, I will not be doing that legitimately. I will be cheesing it. And cheesing it's fun. And honestly, it's kind of, kind of a, um, it, you can tell that they might have done, that they did this, did this just because they knew. Yeah, this was badly programmed. Alright, so... Damn it, I went too late! Ugh! I hate this mission! Damn it! Fuck you, tree! Fuck you, Agent Zero! Snap shit. That one's also kind of stupid because of the ca bad camera angles, honestly.
The sad thing is in order to get those gems we need to finish this mission too. Cause those doors are shut unless you finish the mission. I'm actually surprised you don't get spotted for that. I'm actually surprised at that. You know there is no safe spot at the um castle thing. There isn't. What? Fuck you, Agent Zero. And fuck you, Camera Angle. All he has are these fucking plants which I want to burn. Anyway, so now we can get the gems that are scattered around in this area. We can also go get those metal, um, bases too. And this gem. I seriously hate that mission. If I had to choose which one I hate more out of um, the escort and that mission, I I I choose that mission because the mi because that mission is practically Satan. So we're now going to go into the courtyard of the castle now. And pass to this whirlwind, which will shoot us high in the sky where we can fly for this waterfall. And we can hover and head bash in, and we, and, uh, oh wait, I think there might be gems in this little neck of the woods. No, there aren't. All right, so this, will wind us up at the waterfall that is near the last speedway. So it's time to give money money bags a last group of money. One last speedway adventure for you, Sp Yeah, you yeah, you only have that. So now on to Canyon Speedway. Which like money bag said is the last speedway stage of the game. Kind of pretty easy and fun to be honest. All right, so we're gonna aim for these goats first. Crap! And uh, screw it. We're gonna. I have no idea how the fuck I was able to fucking just get that. If I still make it after those, those mess ups, that would be funny. All right. So Goat's gone, and we're gonna go for the rings. And now the rings are gone, and we're gonna go for those jet bikes. I mean, not jet bikes, the. For the, um. ATVs. Or whatever. Yeah, I doubt we're gonna. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make this. We're not gonna make this. I missed an ATV. Well, might as well just go try. Yeah, no, yeah, no, we didn't. I fucked up at the beginning. Oh, come on! I wasn't even near that.
And there we go. And we got the skill point. Alright, so now we're gonna go back to the vulture area. Because if you saw during my first little run, that's where Hunter is. This one's kind of the more finest of these ones. Alright, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Yep, you just need to shoot the targets. Wood the targets. And Sally just has inverted aim, so yeah. It's pretty easy to just hold down the circle button. This one is pretty hard, but it's also easy, so it's kind of a mixed bag. Which is good considering the first tape, the first one and the one in Icy Speedway are kind of really annoying. Oh shit, 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 damn it. Damn you inverted controls. It probably would have gotten that one had they didn't decide, oh, inverted controls. I mean, I know they did it for flying, but it's like... I just don't like inverted controls. Yeah, so as you guys saw, Moneybags is gone. He will no longer appear until the end of the game. And so now we have the final two pair. Which are two of my favorite stages, honestly. Alright, so the first one we have is over here. And we have Robotica Farms. We're now helping robot farmers. Howdy, Spyro. These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? 
Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more invading pests. You can either kill those bugs with either the, um, Either the ammo or the thing, you can kill these guys with their own boxes. With skin, more sheep. And no, we cannot summon those. Alright, so these guys, we need two hits to kill. The second hit must always be a high bash. So now we're gonna go down here because these have gems. This kind of place a little bit similar to um North Cove of the first game. Just a little bit, but it's like there's kind of some similarities. So depending on what time I finish up the last stage I might turn this into two part stream, I don't know. There's some rockets around here, so well, in fact, the rocket is up here. So ride this thing up, and here's a rocket. Now we're just gonna place it down to the here. I do like how we don't take damage from those. I really do find it funny how, if, even if we're right at the impact area, we take no damage. Kind of wish that's how games work. Your own explosions don't damage you. But. Sadly, they make that stuff realistic. I mean, it's like, I'm fine with realistic in video games, but it's like, there are certain things that really shouldn't be. Like, explosions video games. Some video games do, um, your own explosions damage you and your friends, but enemy explosions don't hurt them. It's like, don't, you know, it's like, don't have it set for one way for the player and then just go and just do the other way just don't even do it for the enemies you know we've seen that a lot you see that kind of a lot in borderlands honestly which I do have plans on streaming maybe co maybe with a friend cop that's not really maybe with a friend on co-op 
We're gonna collect these gems. Talk to this farmer. Way to go, Spyro. Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Alrighty, so now we're going to be exploring. So now, first, we're going to glide over to here where we see another farmer, Supercharge, and these again. This is the second to last one of this game. So I'll talk to this farmer. I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you could knock them down with a bit of a supercharge? All right, this one, is, this one kind of is more of a three, to be honest, because like it's annoying, but it's like not like super annoying. And we will be going through with co and collect gems. We just, I want to focus on doing this. This one is the most, and I. Did. A fine piece of I had to direct myself. Alright, so now we're gonna go collect the gems that we missed along the path. I think there is a few gems in the last ones. Alrighty, so now we have all the gems in this path. I'm gonna go collect those gems that we missed over in this area. And then we're gonna go after the other, the other, the remaining orb in this zone. Oh, and to hit this again. In fact, that one warps it over to where we're going anyway, so we'll do the mission and then we'll hit that. These darn bugs are making a joke of my expensive robot scarecrows. Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? This one kind of deserves its four. Because we have four bugs to flame, and if you take too long, well, you'll probably see it. Damn it. And I got two in the two and one. Nice. Yeah, we'll just probably see if we could get it. Damn it. Uh, There we go. Oh, yep. There we go. Yep, you take too long. Once you flame, will return. That's why it kind of gets its four. Sad thing is, these are really, in, these kind of really give that much of a. Oh, gee. We're going to be. Yeah, one returned. And there's the other one. And that one's dead. Damn. There we go. My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday.
Now we're gonna go collect those gems that from this area. I like that. Their heads move. That's really cool detail. Alright, so now we're gonna finish off the gems. I just wanna move behind that solid near that one teeter totter. Or seesaw if you prefer. I'm not picky, it's the same thing either way. That one's right near the beginning. And there we go. Should be the rest of them. And there we go. That is the first of the two remaining stages, 100% complete. So now, we're gonna watch this. Love that, how cruel that is. Alright, so. Gonna collect these last gems. We're not gonna climb this step flat. Oh, there's the super portal, by the way. Collect these gems. And here's Tom Kenny again. Talk to him. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. And now you're on to the final stage, Metropolis. We're counting on you, Spyro. Yes, this is the final stage. And we're dealing with more robots. Metropolis is the combined name of stage. This area is Metropolis Spires, while Robotica Farms is called R Metropolis Acres. I love that. They both start looking for the bus. This insurrection from the farm has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. I always found it weird that they basically do, um... Do, um, human voice, human-like voices for the, um... Farm robots, but yet the, um... Metropolis robots basically just get, um... Nothing. With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious just get, work. Just See, this. this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. Yeah, so to get these elevators working, we need to head bash them. So it's kind of the head bash test. Alright, yeah, so all these are just farm animals, so... Yeah, that pig died. Those pigs are Tomikaze pigs. Say, run to wall, die instantly. I find it funny they turned the pigs into the fucking kamikazes. I honestly would have done chickens. Because, I mean, it's like they have two cow enemies. And climb up, but we do have an egg. Yeah, the father in these, this, these stages are these little egg guys. Kinda sad. Still never be born. Wait, egg, I must kill you. We're killing that one egg from Garfield. 
Well, I mean, U.S. Sakers. Man. Anyone read that comic series? That was fine, but I kind of prefer Garfield, honestly. I was like, I would watch it when it was on Garfield and Friends, but it's like, eh. Again, I prefer Garfield. And now we're outside. And if you didn't see it from that shot outside, give me a quick minute. There's a power portal over there. Not sure what it'll be. That pig died. Oh, yeah, it came back. I'm sorry. Alrighty, so. Smack this. And we found the inventor droid next to that. Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. It's a first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Yep, we need to take down invading sheep saucers with Super Flame Super Fly. For the amount of time we have, we can fucking fly and we shoot our shoot fireballs. Is the only way to kill those destroy the sheep saucers. They also will shoot back, so it's kind of it's not a good tactic to basically fl to basically fly behind them. And right, so where's the last one? There it is. We'll get these gems when we've gotten all the sheep saucers done. Damn you, sheep saucer! There we go. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb device is proof of your skill. I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. So now we have to take down five of them. There is no real difference, so honestly, it's kind of stupid that they increased the difficulty rating from 4 to 5. I mean, I guess they fire more, but it's like, that's kind of dumb. There we go, all five. Nice flying, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Alright, so there's three of four orbs. Yes, four. We're gonna re-grab this and we're also we're going to get, gather all the gems around in this area. I kind of prefer to this form and this power up combination as Super Spyro. It's like it gives him Super Flight and Super Flame to the most useful as crap um, power ups. So it's like, why wouldn't this be called Super Spyro? I do have another reason, but that will have to wait till later. Again, people who play and beat in this game will know what I'm talking about.
Oh, I forgot to show something too in this world. Let me get all. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it did the same thing. Okay. I thought they that brought back the um. Alright, so I think that's all the gems. Alright, yeah. So, you guys might have seen the um. The one chest before. Face it out. So now we're going to be going backwards to do it. Gems. As you can see, a vicious axe has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The axe is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. So now we have a mini boss. It's not really a hard boss, it's just line up yourself with the bombs and Flame them when you, if you can get them. For some reason, he has a weird health bar. By the way, and it's like, it's like, look at this compared to crushing gulps. Those, ah, damn you! Yeah, you can go back to the land to reconfigure it yourself if you need to. Ah, damn it. And now we have to restart the fight. Kind of why I'm not a big fan of the ice controls, honestly. Like just slip and slide everywhere, especially with this. Ah, ah, come on! Not sure why the heck I'm having such a hard time with him. Damn you, rebound. Ah, damn you, rebound. There we go. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. And now, there's every stage completed. 
So now, we just have a few remaining gems leading up to Ripto and an orb. And now the professor is gone too. So now we're gonna climb up these steps. You see that orb right there and those gems too. On this step, we now will glide over to there and collect the last these prizes. All 64 orbs collected. Want to pay attention? Collect these remaining gems. I'm not gonna talk to Laura right now. I have two gems in behind her. All right, Spyro, you got the orb. Defeat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? Well. Anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. And that is all Winter Tundra Gems. And now, we have completed every level in the game. And now, like Laura said, it's time to defeat Ripto. Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Ripto will be done kind of similar to how Gulp was. But we have some comforting words first. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the Professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Alrighty, so you see, both of us have three gems below us. Also, Ripto has the same health bar as as the Rhino did. When you collect three, you will get a special power. Green will net you, um, these will net you, will net you, um, exploding bomb rocks. You can flame or charge ripped out to, to act, can't, to, to knock away. God damn it! Now I'm fucking nothing. Well, I'm gonna feel as I get a sheep. That sheep saved me. Red will be super fire. Thank you, Hunter. Ah, damn it. Ah, that was lucky. Gonna ignore those, those, uh, for right, those two for right now because I'm just on in health. If you collect a different color one like it has, like I have, you will get this. Uh, pretty sure that it will, yeah. Blue will be supercharged, which is kind of the most hardest one to hit him with, honestly. And we need to have one sliver health left. I wish you could deal at least with that much damage with 
Let's get thing. And blue is supercharge. Blue. Yeah, you didn't see what I've done. Now we have Robo Gold to handle. This basically is done the same thing, only this chat attacks will be different now. We have four, three glowing brute lore because we beat Ripto. Yeah, Ripto's shots kind of hit. Kind of more annoying to hit than that this time. Now, sad thing, remember when I said there is a there to, um, do, um, to get, um, skill point for the bosses, you need to perfect them. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of prefer mashing the two buttons. Together. Ah, damn it. Alright. Up, oh, sheep. I'll let you get that one because I need that sheep, honestly. Yeah, there's one more sheep, so I'm gonna go back to him too. I'll let, yeah, I'll let you get that one. But this one's mine. And so is this one. And now Rubble Gulp is defeated. And now Hunter drop. Yeah, Hunter slide in the lava now. And now Hunter is now Ripto is destroying the arena. And now we have the final round. Super Spiral versus Ripto. Now Ripto shots curve. An easy, apparently easy way to hit him Ripto in this form is to charge, but honestly, I really do not want to freaking tempt fate. So honestly, I better just dog fight him. Now, Ruto actually can go behind the castle. I'm curious if you might actually get to see that, honestly. Okay, looks like you might be able to. Nope, he just turned back into the arena. Up oh, now? Nope, back into the arena. One more hit. Up oh, there we go. He will shoot behind it. Nope, there we go. Not sure where he's now. There he is. And we have won. Ripto and his bird sink into the lava. Ripto is now good. Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever. Now. I wonder if a dragon and a fawn do it, would the um, goat have to be replaced by a dragon, or would or what? Also, the money bags got his ass kicked. Spyro, money bags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? 
Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on.
Well done, Spyro. Step right on into Dragon Shores Park. By the way, if you win 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. Welcome to the Dragon... Right. There's one...
Now you're a net. Free, free, free. You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. Board, my friend. Promised, here's your one token. Back to... Just for kicks, eh? Back to take. Just for kicks, eh, Spy? Hi, you Spyro. I hear you're a... Here's ready for the next. Nice shooting. Here's a token. Ready for the next?
Here is... Step right up, Spyro, and take a look at what... We <laughs> Have another shot at <laughs> This is <laughs> Have another <sh> <laughs> Wow, you... Well, Spyro, it's your lucky...
good show.